Now, thanks, Randy. If you were by the DC Convention Center yesterday, you might have noticed from a crane. It turns out it's a prototype of a nuclear reactor and it's part of a local company's push to bring nuclear energy to cities across the country. Jess Arnold has more on the details on this story. She joins us now live at 10th and B Streets in Northwest. And Jess, uh, you, your friends actually saw it in, in that area last week and, and asked you to find out about it. Yeah, I received a lot of text over the last few days asking what this is that they saw basically in their backyard. They saw the word nuclear on a sign right in front of it, and so they were understandably concerned that maybe there was a nuclear reactor dumped in their backyard. Well, they were kind of right, kind of wrong. Obviously, they did not just dump an active nuclear reactor here inside of a DC neighborhood, but this is a prototype of what they call nuclear islands, these mini nuclear reactors. The company that built it, Last Energy, moved it to the convention center yesterday to show it off. Now, Last Energy is a DC-based company. They build what these what they call these nuclear islands, which are micro-scale nuclear power plants. Now, a spokesperson said that they would build the real ones by manufacturing parks, data center campuses, or other industrial environments not in the middle of a neighborhood. Now, that, that also secure all the appropriate regulatory permits before building any nuclear plants, they say. Now, their goal in parking this 22-ton prototype outside of the convention center was to make the case for a clean energy strategy that revolves around nuclear power. This week, there's a data center conference happening at the convention center, hence that demonstration over there. Now, their team said historically, nuclear power has been too big and too expensive to make it a realistic form of clean energy for many cities. So they're trying to show that it can be done in a smaller, more efficient and modular way. What we want to demonstrate today is that nuclear power can be delivered cost effectively uh, and on time. And what is really driving that is this prototype demonstration module displaying the ability to be able to do this in a modular high throughput fashion. So what we have seen in the past with the nuclear uh, development is that the development times are long and expanded and what we are trying to innovate on is the ability to do this quick and efficiently. So coming up at 6, we'll talk about who would pay for these reactors if D.C. decides to move towards a nuclear energy future. Guys?